Hey there, I'm Christian, the coordinator and conductor of Driven Out. We're here at DM Tower Sessions Live. Enjoy, here we go. Never seem to end, but the end is never boring. No, 
next one you know you may not be hip to it you may not know it but i promise you your kids are gonna love this stuff
Living some day on it, I'll be in the light. Living out on YouTube tonight. Well, yeah. Go, gotta go, go. Go, gotta go, go, yeah. Go, gotta go, go. I said go. Try to do good one more time, everybody. Go, gotta go, go. Go, gotta go, go, yeah. Go, gotta go, go. I said go. So much. I hope all you online are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. We hope we entertain. This next one's a new one. It's called the fight song. Currently. I've got dyslexia. What we can do, though, to help cure that is donating Cash App to DM Tower Sessions. Make sure you donate. They have a strong cause. They are here to help everybody and help musicians build a community and help build my dyslexia. So this is where we're going to go next. This one's called It's Our Time, and it's still a single that you can find on Spotify, Apple Music, or anything that you need. We are out. Here we go. on the Cash App. This is a really awesome cause. And thank you so much for having us on here. This next one, we call the fight song because it's about choosing to fight for yours and choosing to fight to live. And you live to fight another day. And that's all we're here for is to convey a positive message. We're four individuals that have chosen this path because it's our passion. We chose to pursue it. And on this quest, all we want is to pursue this passion, inspiring you to pursue yours. This is the fight song. Thank you very much. Let, 
Sneakers gotta take a drink. The sneakers gotta take a wawa. And the next song. This one's the fight song, baby. The guitarist might be hot as hot AF it, uh, right now, but not as hot as this in Palm Springs. Ooh, Palm Springs was hot. So we are driven out 
on the drums. We got Mr. Rickety Rick Rick the Rick the Rick Rack on drums, baby. We got Jay the Viper Lance on bass. We got Ryan Alzina on the This next one's gonna be a little bit of a slower jam. It's a newer song that we haven't recorded yet. It's on the cleaner side, but we have some kick in power as well. Lyrically, I'm inspired by war a lot and the passion and the sacrifice of men. It's not the most popular war song, but glory. Matthew Broderick, shout out to you, man. Ferris Bueller, you inspired this one. Share the stream, baby. Share this stream, because if you don't share this stream, then nothing, none of this is worth it. You got to share the passion that DM Tower Sessions has, too. Share the cash app, share the stream, the YouTube, share the Instagram, share everything. I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to repeat this, and you're going to do it. Thank you, baby. This song's called Redemption. <laughs>
much, Monica and Michelle. You guys are killing it. Lovely Lozano, Pauline Lizette, Giovanna Rios, Honey LVP, Tanya Buño, Paul Lavois. Sorry if I messed that last one up. You guys are killing it. This one's called Murder Road. Brian, tell us what got you into playing guitar and why you're such a maestro right now. You're self-taught, dude. Ain't no lessons. Ain't nobody to teach me. Tell him why. I figure that out. I teach myself. There's no better teacher but myself. Can't find a teacher as good as me. I might as well do it myself. This is a PRS uh, 245, by the way. It's got a little nick right here, a little crack. Rikas dropped my guitar one time and cracked it. Taking matters from your own hand, teaching yourself. We're a bunch of self-taught musicians. Rick, tell us how you were taught. Hey, I'm gonna hand you the, the Mickey D. Mick mic. What's up, y'all? I'm, I'm, I'm obviously blind, so I can't see what y'all are chatting about up there, but uh, yeah, uh, for me, I'm show a... Some nipple. Huh? They said show us some nipple. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, there you, there you go, there you go. Uh, Look at that. Someone says something about chocolate chips, Rick. What does that mean? Ah, get out of here. Anyways, uh, I've been uh, playing the drums uh, since I was young. Um, I, I, I'm kind of sort of self-taught, but I, I grew up in the church playing drums. Uh, so my mom kind of basically taught me how to, how to play drums, and I never really forgot. I think the youngest age that I can remember touching the sticks was probably around uh, five or six and uh, been playing ever since. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the person uh, that, that kind of really uh, got me into drumming, but I, I wouldn't say it really got me into drumming. It, it was kind of like a, like a in the moment uh, type of thing is uh, I saw my mom playing drums. Uh, she was taught by uh, somebody else from my uncle who's also a musician. Um, and uh, he played with famous people like James Brown and all those other cats and stuff like that. So my mom learned from him. And then I learned from my mom. And that kind of really got me going. And then uh, later on in life, I saw better drummers and stuff like that. And I just really wanted to hone in my skills and stuff like that. Uh. When it comes to practice, uh, man, just be yourself. Honestly, just uh, like if you're a drummer out there or if you want to learn how to start playing drums, I'll say it's just really just uh, take a hold of your craft. Just really uh, uh, take it one step at a time. It's not something that you want to rush into. It's a lot of moving parts. Uh, when, when a person look at a drum set, it's a lot. So you want to take your time. Uh, just hit one thing at a time. And then when you get the hang of that, you add two together. You just kind of combine it later on, and then you just just piece it all together. It's like uh, it's like baking a cake, you know, B layer by layer by layer. Take your time. Once again, we are Jonathan Ricketts and the Driven Out. All right, Jay, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I started playing bass when I was a junior in high school. Uh, I got, I don't really know how I got super into it. I was talking to my dad one day, uh, Driven Out's number one fan, our own Philly fanatic, my dad, and he said that he wanted to play bass, but um, his parents said no, they got him a guitar, so I was like, well, shit, I could do that. Uh, that's my dad, that's number one fan, the Philly fanatic. Hey. My mom hit him in the background. So uh, we ended up going to a spot in San Pedro, and I found, uh, as soon as we walked in, I saw a white bass sitting there, and a couple months later, because of layaway, it was mine, and I still have it to this day. It's not one of these ones up here. That one's kind of sacred, so it stays in my room. Um, today, I'm using my most powerful bass. It's uh, something cool. I call it Neptune, and then over there in the corner, I got my Schecter Omen Elite. That one's probably one of my favorites as well. Uh, but yeah, I've just been playing through high school. I had a couple lessons, but they didn't really stick. So I just played by myself and uh, met up with these guys and been playing ever since. 
my biggest uh, inspiration would easily be Cliff Burton. He's just so cool. If I had hair like that, I'd headbang too. No one. Uh, the question is: Has anyone ever talked smack about my bass or my bass playing skills? No. No one messes with the bass player. They're the coolest people in the band. Shake stick the bass player. Nobody. They, maybe they're talking because they're jealous. Uh, yeah. It's all about the bass player. Um, a lot of there is a lot of jokes about uh, oh it's just the bass player uh, he doesn't get a say you know what in our case that's the drummer so everyone loves the bass player. Just hit it like you hit your bass and you'll be fine. Uh, when it comes to other bass players and playing music, just play. Don't get stuck. This is what happened to me. I got stuck playing like the same type of music and that's all I want to be a punk bass I want to be a metal bass whatever dude just play whatever you can play with whoever you can uh, don't get stuck in one sound because then you're lame jump around try a reggae band reggae bass players are crazy uh, find yourself like really good talent to work out with Christian, Ryan, Rick sometimes uh, it's always a great time and Ryan's super good so he pushes me to be better and yeah just just play and remember, Chicks dig the bass player. All right, so me, talk about yourself. How did I start singing? So you know what? Uh, when I found out I had a love for music, I used to play tackle football when I was like eight years old. And uh, well, that's when I started. But my dad would drive me to the games, and we would listen to music to pump me up. And I really felt more of a connection. I love sports, and I love playing, but... I really felt more of a connection to the music, and I started visualizing music videos as I heard songs, and that kind of enticed me into a story-driven uh, kind of life. You know, I love reading, and I love just creating. I think I'm a creator and a writer. Um, where do I get the confidence to play? Honestly, for a long time, I didn't have the confidence because I thought it was weird. I, well, I grew up in a time where I think it was kind of weird for a guy to want to be a singer, and uh, it took some time and some uh, personal... Uh, downfalls for my own to realize that I don't really care about the judgment of others. I don't care how anybody else sees me. I just care about how I see myself when I look in the mirror, baby. And that's kind of like what got me driven out. So that is my thing. And every time that we perform, though, I gain more confidence in myself that I push myself to do something that makes me nervous or, you know, gets my adrenaline going. How did we all meet? So we all met. We've known each other for over about a decade now all together. Uh, especially, we went to middle school and high school together. We started playing in, in groups before uh, we were even of legal age, before we were 18 or even 21. Oh, yeah. Jay's got this one. Oh, before I get to that, I didn't go to high school with these guys. These guys are older than I am. Uh, I, was, I was at a party, and someone, someone had asked, like, hey, how's the bass going? And this dude just jumped out of the shadows and was like, you play bass? Oh, my God, we need a bass player. And uh, I was like, oh, back up, dude. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'll join. And it was with these guys. And that was I was a senior in high school back then. Shout out Leo. Leo, hope yeah. you're doing good. Yeah, Leo, too. Because Leo, that's, like, that's, I think that's how we kind of, like... Uh, 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 this is a real deal question right here. Who eats a lot in your band? Yeah. That <laughs> would be Rick. That's That's Rick. The guy in the, the Rugrats shirt back there. Before we play, it's diarrhea food. I time. swear to God, we were playing like at a bar once, and he had like three plates in front of him. We were like, dude, you're going to die. Like You move too much on stage. Like You're going to die. You need to not eat that. Get a salad. And he was like, no, no, it's going to be okay. I swear to God, as soon as the show ended, this fool started running to a bathroom. <laughs> Whiskey, the whiskey a go go, just because some of the people I look up to have played on that stage. My parents got to watch me play there. Uh, the chicks, the drinks, the parties, the whiskey a go go. For me, we're all gonna go on this one. My most memorable gig was at, uh, the first time we had the House of Blues performance, and uh, we had people. That was our first time we had like a little mosh pit and just people like acting like. I swear to God, we all walked off that stage thinking we were the biggest band that night. And it was the most beautiful thing. I remember being backstage with Ryan and Ryan even looked at us, we're grabbing our things and leaving. He looked at me and was like, dude, what ha What was that? And all I could say was that's, that was our destiny. That's destiny, baby. But you got to chase after that. But yeah, House of Blues the first time was very memorable for me. And uh, I keep that one at heart. And that's why you just got to pursue your passion. Rick, Snickers, let's do it. 
Yeah. Uh, shout out to you, Rudolph uh, Hernandez. Thank you for the compliments. Um, I would say uh, the the same thing. Uh, the House of Blues, our first performance there, it was uh, it was fantastic. Uh, very very eye opening. It was great to see kids out there just jumping, just rocking out. It like you could really feel the energy. Like it 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 was it was like a high that you could never get. Like it was it was it was quite memorable. Shout out to the wife, Tanya. I love you. Uh, yeah, just to, just to uh, keep this thing repetitive, it has to be the House of Blues. That's probably the first time we played the House of Blues. Because yeah. yeah, we didn't expect all that energy. And just the way that we all, like, blacked out. I don't think I've ever been so tired after. Like, after, I was just like... <sighs> after the first song. So, <laughs> yeah, so that definitely has to be that one. Are we playing there again? I don't know. We'll see. We'll be very soon. Yeah. We'll be very soon. So right now, what we're doing is we had a few show offers, but what we're going to do is take the time to focus on our second album. Um, we're going to record some new music and uh, get that out. Uh, we're probably going to perform again. What we've been setting up is in August. We can't give out the details of the venues yet or whatnot due to just contractual obligations. But August, you will see us again. We will post up on our Instagram, which you can find on underscore Driven Out. Also, we have a YouTube Driven Out, Facebook Driven Out. Spotify, you can find us at Driven Out. That's our logo right here. If we can get a, a a quick little clip on Jay, he's wearing the band's logo. So that's the default picture for everything. The merch, too. You can find our merch on bonfire.com slash Driven Out. We have some very cool stuff. This is one of our uh, Driven Out tees. We also do in multiple colors. If you follow us on YouTube, you'll see our music videos. We have two music videos that kind of created this trend of colorful um, imagination, change, and wild we are superheroes in a world that has been robbed of color by a villain named Shadow. I play blue, Jay plays yellow, Ryan plays brown, Rick plays green, and we have some other characters. And it's our job to protect the color and purity of the planet that we are um, inhabiting. And uh, check that out on Driven Out YouTube, or YouTube's Driven Out, whichever one is more uh, correct. Just look, just look in the comments. If you look in the comments, you can see our link to all our socials. Yeah, so check it out. And make sure, please, to donate to DM Tower Sessions Live. They are trying to build a community for musicians. They also, all the, the proceeds are also going to children in the Philippines that are, you know, that don't have anything to eat, maybe not have a place to sleep. Just we're, we're trying to take care of the people on this earth and we're just trying to do some good. And we're trying to make an impact. That's all that you are supposed to do on this earth. Is just, you're born to make an impact and to just positively impact the world, you know. Um, and so we urge you to do that. The best way that we feel like we can impact is by our pursuing our passion and playing music and hopefully inspiring you to pursue something that you also love and uh, just want to give back to the earth the best way that you can. You don't have to be the, a doctor or a lawyer, you know, but you just have to have uh, something that you love and that you love doing and that gives back to the people. And just so you know about that cash app for DM... DM Tower Session. Five dollars alone will feed twenty people. Just five dollars. We all have that. That's single de narrow, baby. We all got that. So if you can donate, much appreciated. The link should be in the chat as well. Much appreciated, especially if we're here and you're watching us. That's how we create a, even more of an impact. We're a band of of just a bunch of guys that are just regular and just want to pursue their passion. But if we can reach out to across the world or anywhere on this planet, anywhere in the universe, and we can make a positive impact, our, our lives are fulfilled. So $5, and you help our dreams. Jay wants to tell a story really quick. This next song that we're going to do is called Murder Road. And this came along uh, when we did a show in Nevada. And we drove an hour long. I, I was driving with Ryan. Ryan drove me there. And it was an hour long, dead of night, super dark, one highway, no cars. We passed in a, like an abandoned village. It was really weird. And uh, Rick was like, oh, I'm going to pull over and I'm going to fall asleep for a little bit. And when we didn't hear from him, we were like, well, Rick's dead. Uh, and there's no service for miles. It's like a, yeah, it was like 100 miles of just nothing but darkness. 
And then uh, we were joking about making a new song, uh, something about it, like about that whole experience. And then uh, we were on our way back. We did a show out there. We were coming back. And as like the four of us were standing on the side of Murder Road having a whiz, I was like, you know what? We can have a song named Murder Road. And that's where this one came from. Came out of a, a terrifying experience where we thought we lost our drummer. Uh, who takes a nap in, in the desert on the side of a road? It's very strange. Ryan, thank you for driving me. Sorry I fell asleep sure. on the way home. Takes a nap on the side of the road and eats diarrhea food before he plays. <laughs> That's what that is. Rick, how much did you spend on that shirt? Huh? How much did you spend on that shirt? Five bucks. Five. And along with this song, lyrically, what inspired me is uh, I had a personal shroom experience and I started having a vision. And the ceiling opened up and uh, I saw... For the first time, what it felt like God in the ceiling, and he was hiding behind my ceiling. I could see his eyes, and he let me know that I wasn't alone in this universe, and that I do have a purpose, and that everybody has a purpose here, but sometimes we get distracted in this life. And for a moment, I was even speaking to my family of the past, present, and future, and I saw time in a different way. And I had to write this. my own death at a park not too far down the street from my house. Some call it an ego death. This one's Murder Road, baby. Through my death, through a valley of fire I set a flame from the ashes, rose a burning desire Am I free finally from the burden of living? Mother nature whispers in my ear, son, you ain't gonna give in The sky darkened, the horses rode in Conquest and famine, war and death Under the stars we are children left behind Left with questions of who we are and why Somewhere along the line We lost her so damned if I hate Try to change the constellations of my face I'm a warrior I'm a, I'm a, I'm a warrior I'm a waking, waking, waking Over us your bodies is where I met death Blood from my own family tree Got me seeking revenge And there ain't no guilt No, never a sorrow Cause my day will come to hell Maybe tomorrow Let the rest rain Wash me clean If it don't stay It's not meant to I 
under the stars we are children left behind Left with questions of who we are and why Somewhere along the line We lost her so damned if I We try to change the constellations of my face It's called Change. As the true musicians change their instruments, this is the one that I was referring to on our YouTube. It's our first music video. We have filmed guerrilla style, which means you just show up, you film, and then hopefully blow up. We've chose some interesting settings, some settings that aren't even there anymore. You can do the history. Legally, we can't tell you. This one's a dancey one. We hope you have fun at home. You better be dancing at home. You also better be donating PM Tower Sessions on Cash App, baby. Because you're going to feed some kids. 20 people with $5. You see this every time you see us. 
This is us live. You want to feel alive. We're your adrenaline rush. We're your drug of choice, baby. Instagram underscore. Driven out. Facebook. Driven out. YouTube. Driven out. Bonfire. Slash driven out. stage of the driven out ryan created this song all the instrumentation and i added some lyrics to it but he had a vision for this as we were going through covid and what it really inspired this group and why we were driven out to do this was because we lived our lives following the rule book as good boys and citizens and civilians only for the world to shut down and we might be facing an apocalypse and did we really get to live our passions in our lives? No, we didn't. So what if we were to get a second chance if the world opened up? Ooh, if the world opened up, what were we gonna do? And now we're here and you're watching us. That's what we were gonna do. It's all about climbing up those stairs, even when a door shuts or you think the door shuts, you're gonna kick that thing open. And now here we are. Gambled on ourselves, and I think we won. Ryan, share your piece on quarantine. You got your mic, baby. You want to do it on your mic? Share your piece about quarantine, how you came up with it really quick, and we'll jam out to it. You know, everyone was shut down, nothing was going on. I came up with that, and I told Christian about it, and he came up with lyrics, and came up with anything better that I could think of. You know, he told me that it was double meaning, but I'll let him tell you about the double meaning if he chooses to. But one of the meetings is being locked up during COVID. And the other meeting. You're gonna have to find out the next performance, baby, because it ain't gonna be right now. Let's play some quarantine. I said, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Next time. Oh, I think I broke our drummer. We gotta return him. Who's got the receipt? Tonight, my best 
kid starts to feel so low Waiting for you to ask me Freedom is gone, these walls are my friend Don't need a clock, time feels like it had never ends Can't sleep tonight, my bed is just a bed One time, two time, three time, can we go? I was there when the world had turned There was laughter, love and birth Then they crashed and they burned Burned, burned Where were you? The yacht train caught and full of ass and played as we went under, under, under. No, I can't breathe, but hate you breathe. Suffocates me. It's suffocating. Please flex, flex on this beat. Mike, flex. You can hear that too. Boom. To the guy that said that I need to take off my shirt, I've gained some weight recently, but I will. If I'm gonna have DM Tower session, put a quota for donations. Yeah, there's a quota for donations. If you cash up, Dollar sign DM Tower Session. And if it hits the quota before we finish, I'll play the last two songs without a shirt. How about that? And also, if you think we're pretty cool, pretty funny, whatever you think, on YouTube, we do a podcast as well. We're a few episodes in, but follow us on YouTube just for the podcast. This is pretty much what we do. You can join us too. Be a part of the family, be a part of the crew. You know what to do. I'm trying to rhyme. Ooh, ooh. Give him one more time. I got a red thing, I got a blue thing, I got an old thing, I got a new thing, I got a blue thing, she's trying to do things. And when a hot sings, so much for free. Nothing eh, 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 eh,
my heart going to a steady beat then I close my eyes and I need to breathe and I feel the bass and the adrenaline kicks in and the guitar rings in my ears and my heart beats faster and my heart beats faster my heart, it just doesn't stop hitting, baby. All right, all right. All right, all right. You tell me whether this a natural storm. Whether we really dry the drift from the rain pour. Hold my hand and we will ride the wind. So it's so what the tell I do say Well, I don't know where we could end up at the end Once you defend my love Once you defend my love My heart is made for breaking I give up for you to take it Watch you defend my love you guide me when all my stars have fallen Give it up now Ignite me with a strong fighting spirit Hold my hand and we will fly away So it hides so good to tell what you say Let our hearts win flame Burn in this eternal life Would you defend my love? Would you defend my love? Made from breaking, I give up for you to take it. Watch you deep in my love. I better work out my kung fu. You better tell me how I'm doing. Here's a kick, baby. Is Jay taking off his shirt? Did we donate? Did we donate? You better be careful. <laughs> no donate. No shirt. You gotta donate. No shirt. Donate. No shirt. There ain't gonna be a scene. There ain't gonna be a scene. Ain't no scene. All right. You guys ready to hear? Shut up. I'll give you guys a moment. To give a chance to donate. We donating yet? We better get it. We better get it, baby. Even afterwards, if you're watching this and you missed the live stream, donate, please. Maybe we'll take our shirts off just at the end of a while. Who knows? Just have fun. Maybe. But we gotta see something, baby. 
maybe some more comments, maybe some more followers and subscribers to DM Tower Sessions. Maybe share the link and somebody else will share the cash app. Maybe they pay. That's all you gotta do. More likes, that's all you need. You don't just watch us. You don't even need to follow us, baby, because we're just here to help people out. So go and help some other people out. Do something good, do something meaningful. We got two more songs to make a purpose, to make an impact, to pursue the passions. Five dollars, baby. That's Cinco de Nero. That's Cinco de Nero.
all the way. Thank you, DM Tower Sessions Live. Donate five dollars to that cash app. You will see us again live in August. Look out for our new music. Donate to a worthy cause. Be a good person. Give back to this earth. And follow our Instagram to get the latest stories. Follow both DM Tower Sessions and underscore Driven Out for the latest stories. If we want to do an engagement. Facts. Thank you, Monica. Mosh Pit. Honey LBP. You got to see you the next one. You better be starting that. You want to bust out some crown of thorns? We got some time on this or we, we'll keep on going. What's the word? We got another one? We got to check our timer. Oh, baby. All right. Where do you want to bust? Where do you want to bust? Which one? Crash like a wave. All right. They're going to get some crash like a wave. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for commenting, liking, following, subscribing, whatever it is that they need. Rage Against the Machine will be at the next one. That's what you're referencing, right? Rage Against the Machine. Hey, are you guys sure? Are you guys sure you don't want to donate five dollars? Because we'll take your fucking shirts off, baby. Nobody wants to donate five dollars. All right. Okay. I didn't realize. We came here to play. I didn't realize we were going to be potential strippers up in this joint, but we'll do it. Money talks. Money talks and driven out walks. Lovely Lozano, you are so cool. And you know what makes you even cooler is donating $5 to the Tower Sessions on Cash App. Because you're going to feed 20 people. If, if three of you just donated $5, you're going to feed 60 people. If you donate $10, I'll get real face tattoos. I will get real face tattoos. Just donate $10, and I'll take a video and get a real face tattoo. You choose the place, preferably somewhere that I like. But we can talk about that later. But $10, face tattoo. Hey, if somebody bets $10, I said, oh, man. Oh. 15. That's a that's a face tattoo and a half. That's a face tattoo and a half. Hold me to my word, and you will see that we are real and genuine. And we'll build trust. We're gonna do crash on the way. Are we taking off the shirts? Was it really donated? Can we get confirmation? That donation was given by my fiance. She just wanted to embarrass me. Yeah, that doesn't count. I don't have to take it off. That's kidding, Gio. Ricky told me to say that. That's foul. That's foul. Ricky told me to say that, Gio. I'm sorry. All right. Here it goes. Sure comes off, baby. I don't know if that. Maybe. So we're doing. <laughs> Another 10, maybe the face tattoo. Again. <laughs> I can feel it now, baby. Got a whole lot of things. All right, you ready? Yeah, got our point for this now. Hey. Here we go. Spent eight minutes was doing that. <laughs> you ready for a crash like a wave? Crash, crash! High 
read between the lines of your heart fell down at times I'll pin you up on the cross Don't say that I'm mistaken You're just a fake old fake Your memories are a ripoff Oh no, your ego's shaking You know how you have to go Damn, you roll You remain Like a stone in a cave Crashing like a wave Is your destiny Crash, 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 crash You sat in people beside You thought I lived and die Now here we stand face to face You're smaller than I remember